Alright guys, welcome back. Stunlock here. Artful Escape Episode 6. Finally. I think we need to talk to... Oh wait, hold on. Welcome back, Captain. I am at your service. I'm not the Captain, Zom. I'm quite positive. You are. Where's Lightman? I believe he's removing his belongings from the captain's quarters. I feel bad for Lightman. We need to talk to Violetta, I think. So we've become the main attraction. Let's take a look around, though. See how, if anything's changed. Where to? They said he's clearing out his room, so he should be back here, right? Ah, Captain. Rico on the house? No. What the heck? What is up with this this thing? Still a bunch of clothes on the floor back there. No lightning. All right. He must be back here. Party's over. Lightning's getting ready to leave. Lightman, I don't know what to say. So you'll captain the lung as masterfully as I did. I'm not the captain. You are. They can't put this on me. I have no idea what I'm doing. Trust me when I say I believe you, kid. But also trust me when I say you're wrong. I'm not who you think I am. I'm sorry. You're sorry, huh? You're sorry? I just don't want to cause any trouble. Kid, that's the worst thing about you. Can I make a request as former captain? Sure. There's one station to go before you can get back to Calypso. Would you have me in the support slot? Of course I would. I'll pick the stage if you don't mind. Got a feeling I won't be around again. And there's an old friend I want to visit. Uh, You'll get there one day, young blood. Even if you don't want to. Where's that? The end, I guess. Everything okay? <laughs> you know, all things considered, I'm remarkably calm. It sounds like he's ready to die, man. I think he's going to see the glamour gun. I think that's exactly where this is headed. Okay. Where to? I guess Violetta. Let's see what she has to say about this. If it ain't the captain. I didn't mean for this to happen. Doesn't matter if you meant it. It's how it is. How's he taking it? He seems a little spaced out. Ah. Are you... Am I what? 
Upset? Been upset for a long time. Kind of hard to reach a crescendo, you know? Is this about you and Lightman? You mean Mark? Been about that for a while. Why do you hide up here? Excuse me? You're this brilliant, unexplainable creator. I, I don't even understand the medium, right? And I don't know, you seem ashamed of it. Ask me how good I am. How good are you? I'm the greatest that's ever been. It has nothing to do with shame. I'm just uh, plotting my arrival. What is that? Uh oh. That's not good. What's happening? Course change. Hyperion Whale Zone. Yep, that's where the Glamorgon is. Home of the Glamorgon. Danger level dolphin. Oh no. Dolphin must be serious. Did you do this? No! Lightman wanted to choose the stage. He's going back. So we're gonna have to go save him. I bet. He feels I guess he feels like he's gonna go out with a bang. Where to? Okay, so I just want to see the disco. I prefer his earlier work. He's the freshest what? thing I've seen in decades. Do you even own a t-shirt? What's he gonna do? I don't think you guys can wear t-shirts. Earlier work t-shirt was He's the freshest thing I've seen in decades. Okay, yeah, we're, we're reaching the climax. I think we're getting close to the end. Where's Lightman? He's gone. This is bad. Dreadful, hyper-catastrophic. What's wrong? What's going on? There are no other options. Francis Vendetti must play. Don't be stupid. He's the captain. If he does not play, there is no hope. We'll drift out here forever. I think we should chill, okay? What's so dangerous about this show? Danger level dolphin doesn't sound so bad. Francis, dolphins are the most vicious creatures in the universe. Do what? The Hyperion Whale Zone. It's not like other stations. It is guarded by the Glamagon. Only Lightman has faced it and lived. And he is not the showman he once was. If the Glamagon is not entertained, no one passes through the station. Not the crew, not the ship, not the crowd. No one. And the performer gets vaporized with a laser. I might never make it home. You might not even make it to the Glamour Gone. That's correct. To get a show with the Glamour Gone, you must first impress the taste maker. Oh god. She books the stage, famously hard to impress. Jungle is filled with wandering musicians who never made the cut. Lightman is in danger. We must act now. I know that! Maybe we can stop him. Try and skip the dimension before anyone knows we're here. I can feel it in my antennae. The Glamagon already knows. What a goddamn mess! So we're gonna have to go impress the tastemaker first to get to the Glamagon and save Lightman. Absolutely not. 
You're good, okay? You might even wail, but the Glamorgon will destroy you, Francis. Francis? I'm afraid this is a moment beyond the measure of Francis Vendetti. There's no Francis Vendetti in the extraordinary. Out there, damn it! They call me the exquisite! <laughs> Leader of the infinitely loud Galactic Symphony. And not a single organism can compare to the power in these ten little piglets. Ten little piglets. Can you believe that? I have to. Now watch this. Now, watch this. All right, guys, time to take another trip. I guess we're going to the planet that the tastemaker's on. Time for another classic WWE entrance. Every time he lands on a planet, they make like this really dramatic sort of filmic entrance. I like it. I feel like we're gonna run into Ewoks here for some reason. Whoa. What are those? Oh, thank you. Oh, wonderful crowd. Great to be here. I'm getting turbo interference. What's happening down there? They may have me confused with someone else. You got eyes on Lightman? Can you get through to him? Nope. Not answering. He won't. He's starting his way up jungle. Same old show, same old song. I what the locals thought. Did you little nuggets see Lightman? How was it? He referred to them as little nuggets. Delirious. No help at all. Lightning survives this, which he probably won't. I'm gonna fire him into space. God, he'll be halfway to the tastemaker by now. I should hope so. He's the support act. You know, I don't believe in miracles. But I might believe in... You better believe it. I'm the only hope you got. Alright, so I guess we're gonna jam our way there. That was dangerous. I almost did. I didn't think I was going to make that one. Yep. This is happening. Jungle always feels a little electric when there's something special creeping about. And when special things wander this way, they only got one thing on their minds. The glamour gone. Out there, you might be a monarch of kingdoms, but in the whale zone, you ain't bigger than a ladybug. It's a new scene. Exactly. 
so I must ask you this. Is yours a tale worthy of the Hyperion Whale Zone? My story begins at Nesbeam, that delivers occasional proto-human wonder beings. Go on. I'm the leader of the infinitely loud Galactic Symphony. I am the exquisite! You're blowing my mind cavity. Before this day ends, I will be stood before the Glamorgon. And it will say... Encore. Magnifique. You'll need to audition for the Tastemaker. You got a support act? Yeah, he's called Lightman. He's already on his way. Excellent. You've got to hype your arrival, my friend. And hype always starts with the early swell. Out on the jungle moss. Uh, okay. Oh, I thought I was gonna have to play something here. I guess not. Alright, well, let's proceed. Man, these colors are mesmerizing sometimes. It's only when I edit that I really get to like look at the backgrounds. When I'm playing, I'm too busy trying not to f die. Oh snap. Wait, is he performing right now? Maybe he's performing for the tastemaker. Zom. Francis, my little humanoid companion. Traveling well? I hope so. What is that? In the distance. Lightman has secured an audition with the Tastemaker. The show is about to begin. What happens now? Up ahead is a listening outpost. They've got many ears on many sounds. Make a show in there. Answer their questions. Play some guitar if you can. The Tastemaker listens to all broadcasts from the listening outposts. We need your name to reach her before you do. I didn't even see that jump. Oh wow, we're like in a little, uh, little hut village. What is that? Hey up there! Lost, old Mark! 
me. Right in the horns. Crap, uh, sorry. Ah, oh, fine, it's fine. Heard you staring at the jungle. Place is even. What are you doing up there? I'm the furthermost scout on the frontier. Listening out for the new sounds. They're waiting for you at the outpost. of the infinitely loud galactic symphony. Welcome to the frontier. We've watched your rise with immense curiosity. Marching towards the tastemaker, yes? One boot after the other. Solid. I can see your sound playing out well here. I have organized an interview with the public audio zappers. A meet and greet, if it's not too much trouble. <laughs> So we're gonna be doing some promotional, of course, some promotional stuff for about right here. I could die Just like right in the now. Atmosphere. We said his name three times, and he has appeared. Hyperionites, fresh into the whale zone. Here with us now on Devo and Bitbot. It's the exquisite. <laughs> Those voices. Greetings. You're touring out here to impress the tastemaker. Hoping to get a show booked with the Glamour Gun. If the tastemaker were listening right now, what would you say to her? Uh, welcome to the age of Stunlock. Welcome to the age of... We've got a trillion questions sent in from across the Zaposphere. Zaposphere. Okay. Think you can handle it? You may have three. You may have three. So shall it be written. Question one. What are three essentials on your backstage rider? Okay, these are three crazy answers. Four miles of fruit roll up. That's the most realistic for me, at least. A mixologist. An octopus mixologist, non negotiable. Uh, a hover car. A hover car with a full tank of gas and no plates. Question number two. Ooh, this one's salty. Have you had any companions on the road? How is that salty? A moth who was fluent in a dead language. A moth who was fluent in a dead language. Here's a hard one for you. Question three. Before you were... What was your occupation? How is that a hard one? A zero gravity architect sounds cool. A zero gravity architect. Art Vandalay. You've been a beach. And the contest winners are outside. <laughs> they are not that excited. What a vision. I wear the same shirts as him. Contest winners. Okay, what are we doing here? Alright, everyone, step right up and get your photo. I, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just dancing. Oh, I'm supposed to be taking pictures of these people. That's all we have time for, darling. Got it. All right, what next? Incoming message. Zipnoid priority. Where is that priority wise? Right near the top. Okay, patch it through. Francis! Sorry about uh, leaving the English way. 
had to make my move while the getting was good, you understand? Lightman, what have you done? You've marooned us all. Oh, no, 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 not if we put on a show to remember. And kid, I got exactly one memorable show left in me. Violetta is raging. Violetta is raging. Don't you worry about Violetta. She's a drag. Wow. I'm pretty sure she's a genius. Never mind all that. You and I, we're trailblazers. We're the last gunslingers in town. Kid, this is our destiny. This isn't about destiny. This is about you. It's about you reaching out to something that's never gonna come back. And not caring who gets hurt along the way. Violetta deserves better than you. Better than both of us. I'm about to go on stage for the tastemaker. You got it, kid? My name is... And you listen to me. Tonight, it's my stage. This guy's being selfish. Make sure your set finishes on time. Well, you save it for the spotlight, Captain. Oh, who's getting salty now? We're sending a report down the line. Care to sprinkle a few notes over the top? Sprinkle a few notes. All right. How's that? I guess we're off to the races again. I want to see what this taste maced, taste maced, taste maker is all about. Yeah, we're not playing music here. I feel suddenly lightheaded. <laughs> As if the Beatles of my mind were marching in some sideways parade. Yeah, the rest of us like to call it being high. You're heading to the taste maker. That's, That's right. right. You think she'll like you? Or hurl you into space? I've been hurled into space before. It's barely an inconvenience. I don't remember being hurled into space. Okay. trying to light all of those things up. I don't know if it makes a difference, but probably not. Oh, there's Lightman again. This must be Lightman's audition. Broadcast live from the tastemaker. Hopefully it's not his last stand. Lightman's audition is coming to an end. And? How was it? It was fine. That's it? What does fine mean? 
Not good. I was led to believe fine was a devastating critique. Yeah, you're probably right. Well, I'll just have to be even more spectacular than usual. I'm afraid that may not be enough. What? Why? A poor opening act is like a stale hors d'oeuvre or a terrible kiss. It does not bode well for the main affair. Even your most spectacular show may not be enough to sway the tastemaker. There's nothing we can do? Oh, there's something. But it's far too dangerous. I wouldn't suggest it at all. Even though it's very close. Tell me. <laughs> a monumental event in waiting. A creature that only appears once every 10,000 years. If you can convince it to carry you to the tastemaker. A publicity stunt. There's a village. It's in a cave on the far side of this field. The rest is up to you. And Francis, there's something else you should know. Yeah? The time in Calypso is 7.04 p.m. on Saturday evening. Oh, snap. My show. That's right. Crap. I'm on in an hour? I completely forgot about that. I know. Seems almost impossible, doesn't it? All right, we're going to end it here. We already got our homework laid out for us. See you guys next time. Peace.